Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to create your first Java file and run it. And then I'm going to show you how you can take an existing Java file and import it into Eclipse so you can run it there. So in the screen up here, I've already created a project, an Eclipse project. The project is called Chapter 3. And now I'm going to show you how to create just a little simple file in Java and run it. So what I'll do is I'll go up here, make sure you've selected the project that you want the file to be in. And then over here, go to the, up to the menu and say File, New. You want to make a new class because Java is based on classes. And you can give this any name that you want. I'll just call it First Class. Ah, if I can type properly like that. And I'm going to select this box over here, which indicates that this is going to tell Eclipse to make sort of a boilerplate main method uh, to because in, in Java, the, the first method that is invoked is always called main. And I'll go ahead and I'll click on the finish button. That's really all you need to do. Give it a name. Choose whether or not you want it to generate a main method for you. You could, of course, do it by hand if you wanted. And then I'll click on finish. And you notice over here on the left hand side in the package explorer, there is now a file here called firstclass.java. And you'll see that it is placed inside of this element here, which is called the default package. We're not going to talk about packages yet. That's another feature of Java. It's relatively advanced for what we want to do at this time. We'll talk about it later on in the course. Uh, and so anyways, we have this new file called firstclass.java, and it's inside of the Chapter 3 project. Uh, so it's down here. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to convert this into your sort of standard Hello World program. So I'll just type system.out.println. Hello world. Ah, if I could type world, it would be better. Hello world. And there's a semicolon there. By the way, you'll notice if there's any syntax errors in the file, you'll get a little red X over here on the line where the syntax error is. So here there has to be a semicolon to complete that. And once that's done, I can save the file. I'll go up to the file menu here, or you could do Control S and, and Windows or Command S in, in Mac OS. And I'll say save. So now the file is saved. And then I'm going to run the program. So to run the program is a couple different ways. One way, and the way I kind of prefer, is go over to the file in the Package Explorer and right click on it. And then kind of go down here to the bottom, towards the bottom, where it says Run As. And it will say Run As Java Application. If, by the way, if you don't see Java Application here, that means that there was not a method called Main in this file. But in this case, there is. So that possibility exists. So I Java Application. I'll click on that. And it runs. And you'll see down here in the bottom, it says Console. This is where the standard output that would go to the console is placed. And that's, here's the hello world that we, that we printed. So that's how you create a new class and how you run it. Now let's see how we could take an existing class file and add it to our, sorry, an existing uh, file and add it to our project. For that, I'm going to go ahead and drag this window up here so we can kind of see what's going on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I want this file called test boolean operators.java to be part of, to be in this same project. So this just shows the file in the file system. And you'd have a different way to look at the file system in Windows, but this is a Macintosh I'm using. So I'm just going to click and drag the file. And you want to drop it into where it says default package. So I'll go ahead and drop that in there, like so. And now you get an opportunity to choose how you want to include this in the project, and I always want to do copy files because I don't want to lose. I don't want um, any changes I'm going to make in here to affect the original file that I had on my file system. So this is actually going to make a copy of it. So I'll say OK, and now you can see it's appeared over here on the left hand side. There's a little X on there, which means there's probably some kind of a problem with this file, which has to be fixed. I'm pretty sure I know what it is, but I'm going to open it up now. So um, if I double click on this. Yes, indeed, there's a package up here. Remember I told you about packages earlier. I'm just going to turn that into a comment for now, and that's going to get rid of that particular error. And I will then save the file. And all the errors have gone away. And so now I have 
this file existing. Now you'll see that this file also has a method called main. So I can run this as a separate as a program as well. So if I want to do that, I just right click on that, go down to run as and say run as a job application. In this case down here at the bottom in the console window, it's asking me to type in some input. It says enter an integer, so I'll type four and hit return. And it then generates some output and it terminates. So that is sort of the two ways you can create an well one way you can create a file and how you can add a file. Okay, so that's really all I wanted to show here is how to basically create a new Java file and run it, and then how to import or copy an existing Java file into an Eclipse project and run it there. So I hope you found it useful.